Alright guys, uh, this is just a little video. I got a new play toy in for my computer. Um, it is a Galaxy, and I like Galaxy's, Galaxy GeForce 8400 GS. It's got 512 uh, MBs of RAM, which uh, I don't know where it's at. Uh, just give me a second. This is PCI Express. Um, this has that right there. Physiax. It is a uh, Nevada card. Gotta love Nevada. They rock better than uh, AMDs do. Um, basically there's steps. There's three, uh, five here. Um, just better looking for Windows 7. Uh, feed the pixels. HD Entertainment. Uh, uh, basically better graphics and 3G gaming. Uh, this does have, um, I don't know where it's at. This is the assistant requirements. I don't know how good this camera's going to pick it up. There is system requirements there. Uh, s system, uh, alright, this is, uh, alright, accidentally, that's key features is what this one is right there. That's system requirements. Uh, Microsoft DirectX, uh, Sport, Nevada, uh, CUDA technology. Nevada Pure Video HD technology supports Pure, Microsoft DirectX 10 and 9. Um, now, with this graph card, the reason why I picked it up, guys, is because if you're running like high end rendering games, okay, this might say 12 uh, by 12 RAM of uh, max memory, but that's what's on the side of the card. But actually, you get into gaming, it would actually pull another 512 off of your memory sticks, which it will run off your uh, computer memory. Is what it would do. Is what I like about this card. Okay. Okay. The other thing I was gonna say: system requirements. Uh, of course, it's going to be a PCI Express uh, uh, one was a 1x16 graphics slot it would need a minimum of 300 watt or greater system power supply which I got a 550 in that computer down there um, Intel Pentium 4 AMD Athlon XP uh, class processor or higher 200 MBs of valuable hard disk 1 gig of system memory uh, supports Windows 7, Vista, and XP operating system uh, both 32 and 64 bit. Um, and that's basically what it is. And this has a CUDA in it. Uh, now, this is the unboxing. I already broke the seal on this. Because I want to see if it was broke before. Is there a tension? Uh, consumers. Uh, basically saying things for buying it. I'll look at the graphic card later. Now I do support you guys to use your uh, disc. Your driver installation CD. This is version uh, 79.00 because it's got it's got the driver for it plus it's got utilities on it. I don't know how well you guys see that. But go on, on the Galaxy website or anybody that you get these from and check out the drivers. Um, here is basically a quick installation guide. This is what you get for it. And that's basically what you get. That's a quick installation guide. Okay, now in the back and bottom of this patty. Now, here's the card. Now, oh, before I get to the card, guys, uh, there is another one. I don't know how well you're going to see this, but I uh, guess I'm going to quickly do that. See that uh, S video right there? 
you got VGA DVI and S video that one's got a little bit more um, uh, what you want to call it megahertz this one's a 450 megahertz uh, co um, um, core clock and this one I was looking at here I don't know if I can show you this I might already go a lot before but it is a 567 megahertz. Alright, here's the card. It is not open. Alright, the reason why you get these kind of package, they're anti static. It's so the card don't get damaged. And of course, I need my handy little knife. Now, do never grab this card. Never grab the card by the by the board. Always grab by the metal. If this one is DVI, DVI and VGA. This could this does have the hookup for S video right there. You see where the holes are at? I don't care, it does have a fan. Low profile. It is PCI. Express. Um, another thing is, that right there, the fan wire, if I had to guess, and I for poor, this right here, if I had to guess, I got a control module right there where you see the blue lights. That is a fan control module. And I might be able to put this fan speed control on it. Oh, uh, here's the back of the car too. It's upside down, but it still work. And I'm thinking you can get a water cool system for this. I don't know, I probably can get a water cooler for it. But that's that. I'll catch you guys in a little bit to show you um, the installation of it. Catch you guys later. Okay, bye. Hey guys, um, this is my computer. The guts of it right there. That's what I was talking about. I got it right here. The other one. You can plug it. Uh, you can plug this graphic card right there into that and you control the fan speed and where it needs to go right down there don't got very good lighting because I don't want to disconnect the computer all the way but it's right there that slot right there this is the slot I'll be pulling put it into right there it's got a mean mean green cooler on it Look at that cooler. Um, this is all saddle drive driven in here. Um, you guys are wondering if you guys ever bought one of these. There's a power connection. A lot of cables. Um, out right there. That is what you probably need for the graphic card. But I don't know because this graph card don't look like it has it on it but that's one of them and right there that is what powers your um, that right there that's what powers that uh, fan controller and this is and uh, I'll do it now on unboxing it well I'll do a video on it but this is a computer and that's going into it Catch you guys in a little bit then. Peace. Hey guys, this is how low profile this card is. Um, I don't take much room up in here. Got a nice little fan. I was going to unplug it, but I'm going to see how this graphics card runs. Um, there is this. This is PCI Express. This is one. This is first. PCI, you got PCI 2. Uh, this is... Uh, this is PCI 1 and 2, this is number 1, this is X16, 
uh, you got PCI, which is what your um, Ethernet cards run. Um, you guys, just give me a second, and I'll show you the other type of graphic card. Uh, you have, um, well, I'll show you this. This what P, uh, that's PCI. Um, just give me a minute. I'll show you. Show you the VGA. Here's a VGA graphic. That's VGA. VGA. PCI. I showed you what the PCI looks like. And the PCI. You got three different cards. Um, yeah. There's that. There's that. That's VGA. PCI. Okay, on. I'll just pull this out really quick. Give me a second, guys. I'll show you the three graphic cards they got out there. Well, this is the first time running a PCI Express. Just, I don't know how they look. I don't know how they run. I don't know anything about PCI Express. I know there's a clip. Oh, there it goes. Okay. There's three different graphic cards you got nowadays. This is more common. That's what a PCI Express looks like. See? Yeah. You got clipped in. That's what that looks like. Here's a uh, VGA. Well, actually, oh, in a row. Never mind. Scratch that. This is PCI. PCI it looks almost like the VGA. And that is PCI. Well, you guys get a better view at this. VGA, PCI, and, v and PCI Express. Three different gra cards these days. And that's something for you guys to think about when you buy a video card. And don't always go for the high-end thousand dollar graphic cards. Yeah, I swear to God. This card right here, this one right here, if you go to Google, search for this card, I swear to God, it can do anything, anything these thousand dollar graphic cards can do. Well, in a reasonable price. Well, I'll see you guys in a few of them. And I'll get my computer booted up and show you what it's going to look like. I'll be back at you guys later. Bye.